nutrition, welcoming, etc. Anything to keep your donors massively important. Set it forward, increase the frequency of communications. Every program I've ever seen is the more communications, the more active the file. Full stop. Focus on net income. Cash, cash, cash. And get net income in the door and keep that there for the long term. This is really, this is the time to really, really, really work the detail on donor development. It's going to be almost impossible to recruit vast numbers of new donors cheaply. I know, I'm not going to name them because that would be unfair, but there's some organizations in this room investing huge amounts in fundraising, particularly in donor acquisition next year. I think they're very, very clever. There's only a few people doing it. Uh, and I think they'll gain a huge market share by doing so. But if you do not have the reserves, the cash reserve in order to do that, then your most valuable asset at the moment is your donor base. It's certainly more valuable than any land or property you're sitting on. It's certainly more valuable than your stock market reserves. Your database of donors is probably the most valuable asset the vast majority of charities currently have. Get a look, this is the time to look in tiny little segments, brilliant personalization. Letters that look like letters, try, 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 personal care, personal attention, and use that hands to effect. So short, donor development, this is the time for tactical, not strategic, but for tactical genius. If you